Good afternoon, everyone. It might only be the start of medical school. I'm excited. But Nicole Everett's journey to this giant welcome at UNT Health for excellence and has been a long time coming. And providing its students with a great experience. She's officially a med school student, not just any, one of less than 0.5% in the entire country who are deaf or hard of hearing. I had never met one in real life. So the mom of six. Are they better? Mm -hmm. Decided to become one. I was just a mom and I was just the kid with hearing loss. I'm trying to walk back that kind of vocabulary, right? Because I'm in fact a medical student. Wednesday at a special ceremony, Nicole received something no one else did. Her very own unique stethoscope linked to her hearing aids. You want to check it out? Letting her hear the heartbeats she once feared she couldn't. I'll just put it up. Her spark, it came during 10th grade when a hospital visit changed everything. And I remember feeling that it was so electric. She told herself for a decade becoming a doctor just wasn't possible until a TV show proved otherwise. I had been watching ER reruns and there are a couple of episodes where there is a deaf physician that Dr. Benton is working with. The door opened. From a child bullied in school to a woman rewriting what's possible. You can do anything that you put your mind to and it doesn't have to look like everyone else's timeline. Her journey is not about what she hears. It's pretty cool. It's about what she believes. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana D'Alba.